take on the who are the the people who voted they really have to split into different yes their voters into different demographics or who which is the age group that voted for us which are the majority of people who did not vote and so how best can we appeal to them yes. and go to them and tell them kindly give us this yes if for example the women within a certain age group were not able to go and vote then i think um, as a male would be best placed to go and tell them hey this is one of you and a woman whom you can be able to trust therefore kindly feel convinced that on this day yes. go and vote for this person though you did not make it to go on the other part on the other during the other during for example now the elections that we that have just happened yes there but you can be able to make a difference and your one vote makes a difference they should be able to look at the demographics of their voters and people who are not number two they should be able also now to facilitate the process facilitating the process because for example if they notice that for example persons with disability mm -hmm. were not able to go and vote due to accessibility problems they should be able to facilitate that the persons with disability or the elderly they are able to get to the polling stations get good assistance yes. that they are able to exercise their democratic yes. and civic right so they should be able to look to poke holes in where they do not do best what failed they are turn out or what would make their their votes yes. to go to go up even at whatever percentage whether it will be a 5% or a 10% remember every vote, vote counts. does count isn't it yes. I, I just want us to take a tiny little break from there now because then we have to keep on showing you exactly how the